Hey everyone, my name is Dana Schmoyer and I wanted to welcome you to Twin Tuesday. You're gonna have to bear with me for a little bit here because I'm still trying to brainstorm of how I actually want these weekly pregnancy updates to go, um, but it might not be complete and everything until we are moved into a new house and everything. But I wanna catch you up to speed on where I'm at. I'm pregnant with twins. I am 11 weeks pregnant with twins and they are identical. I found out when I was about four or five weeks pregnant that I was pregnant and was shocked to get that result. And I have always enjoyed getting an early ultrasound just to be able to see the heartbeat, make sure the baby is healthy and everything. So I set up an appointment at a crisis pregnancy center because as soon as we found out we were pregnant, we knew that we needed to move and we weren't sure we, where we are going to live still. And so I was able to go and get a free ultrasound and found out that there are two babies inside of me. And the ultrasound technician said she wasn't 100% for sure, but by the look of the ultrasound, it looks like we have identical twins. And I have talked to both of my grandmothers, and there are no fraternal twins in our family on either side anywhere. So these are identical babies. And I have just been reading up and I'm about to go to the library and get another book on twins and learning about everything. And what I have just read right before <laughs> making this video is that there are a lot more complications that can possibly happen with having identical twins versus fraternal. If you have fraternal twins, that's genetic and that passes through the mother's line. If they are identical, it is completely random. Like there's no way of predicting if you are going to have twins or not. Like, I have just as much of a chance of having identical twins as you do. Crazy. <laughs> Before we knew that we were having twins, I was kind of feeling like this pregnancy was already different than my previous ones. My exhaustion has been over the top. And I was curious about that before, but kind of just writing it off that I have four kids already, so of course I'm exhausted. I have four kids and I'm pregnant. I'm going to be exhausted. But finding out that there was two babies in there made a whole lot more sense because this exhaustion almost seems like it's a double of what I've experienced before. My nausea really hasn't been as bad um, as I expected with it being twins. My nausea has been kind of as normal as all my other single pregnancies. I thankfully have never thrown up with morning sickness. I'm usually nauseous throughout the day. I have a really hard time cooking. I'm actually cooking dinner right now for the kids. They are getting spaghetti for dinner tonight, which I will not be eating because spaghetti sauce and like tomato pasty type of stuff just, well, it's probably my number one aversion while I am pregnant. So I'm not eating that. I'll probably eat a salad and just snack on some other stuff throughout the night. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna go get some Greek yogurts. Greek yogurt has been sounding like the best to me lately. And I've been reading that I need to be taking a lot of protein and dairy's good to like stick with me throughout the night so that the babies get more nutrients. So I really don't know a ton about twins except for just what I've been reading yesterday and today. We have been out of town so I really haven't been doing a lot of research until these last few days. And I'm so excited to go get a book and start learning some more and I have not started my regular doctor's appointments yet because we will hopefully know either at the end of this week or the end of next week where we will be living if we're going to be staying in the Cincinnati area or if we're going to be moving to Texas to be closer to family it's completely up in the air at this point right now I wish I could tell you that we were leaning one way or the other but we are not it is completely up in the air and I am so ready just to have an answer it'll be so nice Either place I have a preference, but really just having the answer <laughs> so I can start going to my doctor's visits and making sure that these babies are good and healthy um, is great. Today I did start calling around different doctor's offices and seeing like what doctors say and asking friends and other moms that have had twins in the area. I have a, my neighbor's actually texting all of her friends that have had twins and asking what doctors they recommend for a twin pregnancy because I've had four um, not complicated at all vaginal births already and I would absolutely love to be able to um, give birth to these babies vaginally and not have to have a c-section I know there's like so many different factors that go into it to make sure that they're in the right position everything's healthy and everything for that to be able to happen but that's what I want that's what I would prefer um, I don't want to have to have a c-section I haven't had to have one before and 
I just, I mostly just want a healthy pregnancy. I want healthy babies. And I really, after reading, I really want to know if we have two placentas. Because if each baby has their own placenta, that's a whole lot more healthier um, than if they're sharing a placenta. And that's probably the number one thing that I want to find out now after reading on some of this stuff. It's kind of scary. Um, what could happen if they're having to share a placenta and one baby gets more nutrients than the other? And just so many complications that can go on with it. So I'm looking forward to reading more information on it. Um, but at the same time, I'm trying not to scare myself with it. But I also need to know, like... I need to take care of these babies. I am working out. I will try to talk more next week about health-wise and pregnancies and trying to have a healthy weight gain. I don't know how that's going to go with twins, um, but I have had some health, two healthy pregnancies um, after having two unhealthy pregnancies. And so I'll talk a little bit about that next week. So subscribe if you haven't already to follow me in this journey of having twins. It still hasn't sunk in and I don't know when it will. Maybe when they're in my arms that I can hold them and actually see them and realize, wow, there really are two. Or if it's going to take until third trimester when I am completely exhausted. Well, completely uncomfortable. I've been completely exhausted already. So that kind of makes it a little bit more real, but not so much yet because they're so teeny tiny still. But thanks for hanging out with me. Join me tomorrow to come back and learn something that I learned at camp this last week. I went to camp with my four kids, kind of six. I can't, I don't, my other hand's holding the phone. <laughs> um, and listen tomorrow what I learned um, at camp with four babies. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.